it's a bit rough at the minute, but this is going to be a single player controller for uh, Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi, uh, arcade games that you can plug um, directly into your TV and play everything from this box. It's not like massive, it's just the size of it. One joystick, six buttons, a few cables underneath here, with a few sockets on the other side. Happy days, you get the idea. There's a lid. I'm going to angle this one down so it meets that. So you get a slight angle on it. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to laser engrave the top. A laser etch, whatever you want to call it. With this. Um, the dotted circles are what I'm going to be milling out, going directly through. Because uh, uh, the joystick is living there, and then they've got all your six buttons living in that. No, no, and uh, okay, I'll each other. And then I'm gonna laser um, Ryu character from Street Fighter. Um, laser me logo, and I'm thinking of leaving the inner of these lines like blank, so the wood. And they're in here with this sort of fireball, if you will, blank, and making uh, some kind of pattern, dark pattern, laser pattern to fill this uh, the outer area. And I'm going to leave that. I might give that a colour. I might just paint that one colour, some kind of wash. I'm not sure yet, but it's um, <clears throat> work in progress. I'll keep you posted. Just milling the holes for the underside of the arcade, one player of arcade box. Here's a, a button, a mill. That's the top. Might be pushing down. That's the underside. And 
this is the top of it, that's the joystick with the buttons, so I'll just turn that upside down for now. Pop that button into that hole. Nice fit. And then I've um, already milled out a hole for and one of these buttons to fit through. Now that is going to push against the bottom the back of that and fit in that hole. And there you are. I'll try and open this up. Try and hold this one handed. There we go. But you'll get the idea in a minute. Well, that's the idea. The button. Thank you very much. Roughing out the uh, joystick handle. That's all. Not long to go now. Okay, I'm making that part of the joystick. That one. Ten mil diameter hole drilled already. And I'm gonna just file the corners down, make it more rounded. That'll do. player arcade control unit that's what it looks like on the inside I've got a Raspberry Pi to go here to be screwed there there and here there's a hole at the side so you can get to the SD card so you can update any games you want to put on it or whatever you want to update on it any firmware kind of stuff um, living down in this section here is going to be the USB Zero delay eye pack for all the wires from the buttons that will live at the end of these uh, contacts. So that's going to be like down here. Plenty of room for that. So if I mount that, probably put it on some 3D printed washes or something and lift it up off the board, screw it down to it, and then I'm going to stick a hole here for any wires I need to put. Feed out like the power cable for the, for the Raspberry Pi and uh, the HDMI cable for the TV.
Okie dokes, all wired up now. Got my um just need to put the underside <coughs> the bottom piece on it. And then turn it over, plug it in. Happy days. <laughs> Zero delay USB I pack to the Raspberry Pi. And then I've got the HDMI cable there, plugged in. And I've got the power lead there, a little bit of a channel uh, milled out of that piece of side panel there. Running out to the back of the box. Um, <clears throat> and basically, that's how the inners look, if anybody wants to know. Oh, 3D printed a bit of a bracket so make sure that HDMI is secure and doesn't pop out um, and that's it just need to put the bottom piece on and then fire it up <laughs> 